Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Today I have with me the Casio Privia PX560, which is a really cool piano here. And I wanted to go over having multiple split points on the keyboard, which is made possible because of hex layers. You don't have that on the two other models that Casio introduced, the PX360 and the CGP700, all having this great touchscreen technology. The PX560 does offer you hex layers, and with a single hex layer, you can split this keyboard into six different zones or areas or whatever you want to call it with six different levels. So let's demonstrate how you do something like that. I know it sounds pretty complex, but actually it's pretty easy when you get right down to it. So here's how you do that. So first of all, we're going to get over to the tone menu over here and you can see the tone menu right here and we've got things like grand piano concert selected for the upper and acoustic bass one for the lower let's turn the lower off we're not going to use that right now instead we're going to go over here and instead of grand piano concert we're going to scroll over to hex layer and we don't want any of the included 100 built-in hex layers. Instead, we're going to set up our own, which is going to be, right now, let's choose user 301. Okay. And let's go back to the tone settings over here. All right. So we got user 301, which is a hex layer. We're going to create this from scratch. We're going to hit the edit key, and then we're going to hit edit again and here's where we can set up all these different parameters for our hex layer and again a hex layer means six or up to six different tones or sounds or patches or voices or programs whatever you want to call it in one physical tone or voice or patch or whatever so basically right now what we've got here on this menu we got volume key off blah 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 layer all right so let's go with layer and we've got up to six layers right here let's go with the first layer it's already turned on it's a sine wave just for simplicity's sake let's make that um let's make that a piano This is a general MIDI electric grand piano. All right, so we're going to go back to the previous menu. And that layer is on. It is layer one. It's a general MIDI electric grand piano. Now, here's where you set the range on the keyboard that you want this piano assigned to. You can assign it to the whole keyboard or part of it. So the key range low and the key range high are going to determine where you want this on the piano. So if I hit key range low and I want it from the bottom note, I hit that. See, as soon as I hit that, it changes to A0. This is the A note and it's the zero of the A note. Next one is A1, A2, and so on. All right. So let's go to the key range high. Let's make this two octaves in length. So I'm going to hit this A2 right here. So basically, I have got myself an electric grand piano that spans two octaves starting from the bottom key on up. And I go beyond that, nothing plays. All right, so now let's go back. And let's choose layer two. And layer two, let's choose another instrument. Oh, uh, let's see, a banjo maybe, just for demonstration purposes. We're gonna turn that layer on. Okay, so it encompasses from C1 to G9 right now, but we're going to change that. We're going to do the key range from 
let's see, we did the electric grand piano for two octaves for starting from A, so we ended here. So let's start the banjo with the very next note, which is a A sharp or B flat, okay? So we're gonna hit that, and let's make that go two octaves. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So the first two octaves, we got an electric grand piano, and then after that, the next two octaves, we have a banjo. Let's test it out. Now, from this point up, we should have a banjo. We do. That is so cool. So now I have just created two different split points or zones on my piano where I've got two different musical instruments. And I can do this up and up and up for the other four tones that make up a hex layer, or I can overlap them over here. So we already know we got two octaves of an electric grand piano over here. And over here, we've got two octaves of a banjo. So let's intercept both of those in our next layer. It's gonna be layer three. Let's turn it on and let's choose another instrument. None of these have to make sense. It's just so that you can see what I'm doing over here. Let's choose a violin, okay? And we're gonna go from the key range of say this key to two octaves here. All right, so now Let's see what we got. We got three different tones, three different octave settings. Let's see what we got. First, we start with the electric grand piano. Here's where the violin kicks in. Violin's out. We got the banjo now. So you get the idea now, all right? We just made three different layers. They, some of them overlap, some of them are one after the other. And as far as the keyboard range, the split points, you just tell it what you want. So this is the power of hex layers. I got three more to go in this particular hex layer. So basically I can set up to six different key ranges and up to six different voices, patches, tones, programs, whatever you want to call it. And that's for one hex layer. This thing will play up to four hex layers at a time. Each one of those, you can make the same settings. You know, different instruments, different key ranges, whether they overlap or the same or whatever. Very powerful. Hope this helps you out. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.